Hello again, everybody. Sorry for that uh, mix-up. There's a just trying to test if my audio is better now. Testing, testing. Testing everybody, hello. Can I just confirm whoever's on if my audio is better now? Or is there a humming sound that can be heard? Apologize. Testing, testing. Welcome everybody, whoever's uh, logging in. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Pat. Oh, since you stand, thank you so much. Okay. There's still some humming. Okay. Um, it's just the lighting in the inside this dojo, so I didn't realize the microphone would pick it up. So, as a solution for the time being, I'll just use this so it's closer to my voice instead of uh, the humming sound. Oh, so I'm just gonna confirm with Sensei Martin. All right, I know it's 3.03, I will start in one minute, just gonna confirm. Hope everybody is feeling good this evening in Europe and this afternoon in Canada. Still a bit buzz, but a bit better, okay. All right, hmm. Sorry, I can't turn that off, unfortunately. I hope that either way, I won't be speaking too much, I'll just be focused on the techniques today. All right, still from sound. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Osu Sensei Martin, thank you so much for uh, inviting me. All right, I will, before we start, I'm just going to share a quick introduction. Osu, my name is uh, Luigi Gardi, I am from Canada. I uh, train at Sensei Rei Tio. This is actually one of Sensei Rei's dojos in Mississauga where I train at. So, oh, Sensei Rei, thank you for letting me use the dojo space for today's class. Um, I'm still going to focus on a one meter kind of space. So, it's like imitating will be doing some training techniques as I would be doing in my house or where you guys are at home. And yes. So today's class, my focus and my intention is to commit to focusing on Kihon with a twist, or focusing on Hanmi, Shomen, but specifically body connection and how we utilize our techniques to properly connect our foot, legs, hip, to our hands, to the point of impact, whether it's our blocks or punches, okay? So I hope you guys are able to take away uh, something from today's class and if not I just hope you have a good sweat as well too okay all right 12.05 here 6.05 p.m. in Europe so before we start I always like to start in a mokso so I'm just gonna go seize up For mokso, I know everybody can have their own type of mokso. So what I would invite you right now is to just focus on 10 breaths. So when you do your breathing, just inhale, exhale. Focus on 10 breaths. And at that point, I'll do the mokso yume. Okay, ready, mokso.
soy rey. Sensei. Otogri. Okay. So, for now, just start jumping up and down. Just warm up. Bus, hello everybody. Thank you so much. Okay. So just to share that what I just did, the book so 10 breaths just to get my mind focused on where I'm at, getting ready for the class. Side to side, jumping. For those of you turning in right now, I just wanted to share today's focus will be focusing on Kihon with twists, Hanmi Shomen, and body connection. And I'll explain all that when we do the techniques. Okay, jumping jacks, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Shake your hands, shake your legs. Okay, circles forward. Backwards. Us, us. Okay. And side to side like this. Okay, hip side. Just let your hands loose like an octopus. And relax. From here, knees up. We're gonna rotate ankle, knee, wrist, elbow. Keep your shoulders and hips intact. Okay, other way. Okay, other leg, other side, same thing. Just rotating knees, wrists, other way, while maintaining balance. And relax. Okay, hands up, stretch up. Side. Other side, down, just legs straight, hamstring straight, just let the gravity, focus on gravity down, up, right hand, left ankle, up, left hand, right ankle. And hands behind your back, like this. Push it down, chest open. And good, shake it off. Okay, left leg full front stance. Just focus on the back leg straight, hip forward. Focus on this part, pushing your hips down like this. Push forward. Other side, back, push forward. Okay, other side again. This time, I'm gonna bend low. Actually, just right hand on the knee. Just twisting at the same time. You're dipping your leg for a lunge. Other side. So twist. Use your hand. Good. Horse stance. Keep it up, but elbow push your thighs up. Shake a side to side. Then from here, bend to the left side, right leg straight, toes up. Try to balance. And while keeping your hip as low as you can, you're gonna switch on the side. And then switch. Switch. And switch. And good. And slowly, feet together, shake it off. So sideways you can see. Just hands reach. Grab your toes, elbows down. And relax, shake it off. Ankle rotations. Good. 
Knee down. Elbow against the knee. Stretch behind. Good. Switch. Grab your knee. And from here, keep your knee, sorry, your ankle on top of the knee here. One hand in between the legs, other hand behind. Fall back and then pull. If you can, pull from the top part, put a little more pressure. Then up. Then switch sides, on the other side. First. Twist. Grab your knee, pull up to your chest. Rotate ankle. And then, one hand between the legs, other hand outside. Fall back, and then pull. Okay, next one, one leg behind, 90 degrees, front leg 90 degrees, so it's 90, 90 position. Opposite hand versus opposite leg, just stretch forward. Up. This time with your hand, you're gonna push. Just read the comments so right closer. Hands, push your knee down so you feel the activation on your thighs. So from here, you're gonna lean forward, not bending that back straight, and just push your knee down. Okay? Now, you're gonna resist, put your, keep pushing your hand down, but you just push, you're gonna lift your knee up. So you're gonna feel resistance, but pushing your hand down. Ready? Go. And stop. Okay, same thing. Push your knee facing down to the floor. Five second hold. Ready? Go. Reach. Go. Now, knee up, hand resist, pushing down. Go. Knee, side, shin. Go. And good. Switch sides. Again, first, stretching down, have opposite hand across, lean forward. Goal is you're stretching it's the hip. Okay, now, hands here, push the knee down, hold for five seconds. Itch. Okay, push the knee, pull the knee up and push your hand down. Go. Pitch. Go. Push down. Go. Knee up. Go. And good. Okay. Standing up, shake your legs, shake your arms. Okay. Now we're going to do a little bit of some squats, but short squats. So it's watching me first. Normally when you do squats in the gym, you go all the way down and up. We're not going to go that deep, but the key focus is try to keep the back straight. And as you drop your legs, hands up. And then when you go straight up, explode upwards. So down, up. When I say go down, I want you to think about just letting the gravity drop you. Okay? It's like you're letting go and the weight, there's no resistance, just drop, drop. And then when you go up, explode, up. It's like you're Iron Man, pushing up. And then relax, up, relax, up, relax, up, relax, up. Relax. Up. Okay, shake it off. Keep loosening up the hips. Next, we're going to do something called hip flossing. So, let's get into a Zinku Snatch front stance. Always Zuki position, left hand up, hand in the hip. Just from here, sorry, Yakuzuki, sorry, Yakuzuki. Then, just going to rotate, Hanmi, and then punch. No power, just really flossing your hips as far apart and as forward and even like almost full turning sideways while punching. Just flossing, get the rotation. 
timing at the same time. Switch legs. Okay. So Gekuzuki hip as forward to the corner as possible. And then other side as much as possible. The purpose is just full extension of your hips. Loosening it out. Or I call flossing it like you floss your teeth. Floss your hips. And give me. Shake it off. Okay, you can take exercise just from here. Focus on twist, elbow straight back, not around, just twist back. Ready. Itch. Hold up. Hold at least one second. Knee. Up. Sun. Up. She. Up. Go. Up. Hook. Up. Hitch. Up. Hutch. Up. Kip. Up. And do. Up. And relax. Okay. Just shake your wrist. Up and down. Relax it. Sideways. Shoulders. Just rotate backwards. Forward. Okay, then last your neck. Just keep your body straight. Just side, 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 side. Do this time. Start down. I'm just gonna rotate. Control each motion. Down, other side. Slowly, not too fast, because your neck, you want to feel all the motion in the movements. Again, other side. And one more. And good. Okay. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. And just pat yourself down. Arms with the blood circulation. You see Sensei Nemoto, usually before Kuma take uh, fights, he's always patting himself down. Activate the muscles. Okay. Okay, warm up finish. Sensei hey. Alright, hope everyone is uh, at least loosened up. Host, thank you all for joining. Just want to confirm if the voice or the sound is okay, the audio. Just use the microphone for my AirPods. Okay, so for those of you joining, today's focus and intention is body connection and kihon. So, first drill I would like to focus with, just from standing. What does it mean to use body connection? All the senses, all the gashikas I've been to, the senses always focus on connection, connection. Hip, your feet, hand, shoulders, hands. We all move as one unit, JK style, right? Your hand, your focal point is always to the center of your target, whatever it is, right? You're, whether you're doing uke, you're blocking through the center, through the center, or punching through the center, okay? Everything focus in the center. But the generation of the power starts from here, not from the shoulder. Well, technically, the ground up to the hip to go to the center. First thing I want everyone to just kind of feel your feet placement on your floor. And I've seen, seen Sensei not to do those videos when he's punching, people are punching and they're holding, or he's stepping the hip fist and then they're falling backward. Because your center of gravity is not down. So we're just gonna do light bounce like this. Just feel your body weight go down. Okay, so I'm doing this. Just like the drill I did earlier, let yourself go, and then up, go, up. Same thing, just relax the hip. So no resistance. It's not like a leg press, you're pressing your legs and activating from the legs here, no. Focusing on that. Just loosen the hips, okay? Just bounce. And let your feet fall flat, okay? Now that you loosen up a bit now. Whenever we do our techniques, usually we always go, you bend, and then, you prepare your Kedambarai, right? So that's what I'm really focused at this moment. moment just letting that drop, the drop feeling. Look at my hands. As I'm dropping, 
when you do squats, the tendency, the hands to go up, right? They're connected. When one goes to uh, action, it has, every action is an op equal and opposite reaction, right? That's why when you do hikite punch, you, do, you don't just do one and then two separately. They move together. Move together. Same with techniques to the block. Okay. Move together. Move together. So there's always a push-pull. Opposite and equal reaction for each action. Okay? So one, up. Okay, I'm just sharing concepts and principles right now. So focusing on the hips. Next thing, twist side to side. Okay, just really focusing on the twisting and the crunching over here. Now, let go, okay? Hands. I want everyone to just hit your shoulders like this. Okay? Try to go faster. Okay? Notice how, notice how fast you went with that, okay? When you're going like this. Okay? As fast as you can, notice how you hit yourself. Now, earlier I did the octopus thing. We're going to do the same thing. This time, control your hips. Okay, stop. If you try that exercise, which one was, well, stronger? This one? Or this one? Okay, I don't want you guys to, I know I'm kind of hitting myself hard, but I don't want you to hurt yourself. But the second drill, oh, I'll just give you the answer. The second one, because I'm using my leg torque to generate the power, instead of just my hand. I'm limited with my shoulder and elbows. This one, I'm using the torque from my legs. And my hand just follows. Hip initiates, hand follow. Now, using the same Focus, you're gonna guide your hand. We have control over our hands. So it's not just free form anywhere. You can use that same generation from the core, from the hip, to activate your power, and then you control the focus and the control is just guiding and directing your hand position to the course it needs to go to, okay? So this is the focus I'd like you guys to keep in mind as we do our techniques, okay? So, that's just the intro explanation, now time to work. So, your first drill, we're just gonna go in ready position with when your hands, when you drop your hips, you're gonna get done right, okay? Instead of putting your hand here and putting your hand position there, I want you to, as you drop, hands automatically follow, okay? So just do five times each hand. So just to drop, itch, up, knee, up, sun, up, sheep, up, go, other side, drop your hand, drop your legs, hand up, itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, okay, on the left side, hand up, itch, Okay, now when I say go up two, step forward, block, and then hip out. Okay, and then when I say itch, your leg and your hip, put your hand back. Okay, that's itch. And two forward, knee, itch, knee, itch. Knee, itch, knee. Now, other hand up. So as I go back, other hand up. Ready? Itch, right side up. Then, right leg forward, get down right. Knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee, itch, knee. And no okay. So I'm doing two counts first. So the goal is drop the weight, positioning, and expand technique. Okay. This time, one count. Go slowly though, but I'm focusing the drop, drop, expand. 
Okay, when you're dropping, contraction, expansion. Ready? Left hand first. Itch. Okay, when you step back, right hand up. Knee. Sun. Switch legs. She. So as you're stepping back, your hand follows the hand hip because the hip is moving this way and the hand follows. Sun. She. Good, slowly. Feel the hip. Go. Okay, hook. Switch. Hutch. Two. Two. Not a. Okay, I hope you guys are understanding the concept, but the key focus when you do the pullback, because my hip, see, no, it's high knee position. When I go back to cover position, the hip pulls the leg back. As it's pulled the leg back, the hand comes up. As opposed to me putting my hand in position and coming back into place. Use the hip to generate that uh, start, okay? 10 times, not super fast, but one fluid motion for your done breath. So for your, again, we're gonna go into the drop, and then down, then switch sides. Ready? Itch. When you go back, opposite hand, switch legs. Knee. Sun. She. Use the hip to generate. Go. Rook. Hitch. Hutch. Q. Two. Okay, ten times sharper and finish kime. So kime at the end, everything tight. Exhale, sharp exhale, and then hold for at least one second. So you kime. Same drill with kime this time. Itch. Ni. Sun. Sheep. Go. Hook. Hitch. Hutch. Kip. Two kip. And out. Okay. Hope you get the concept because something I noticed for myself before when I used to come up, I'd let my hand do the work as opposed to let the hip initiate my hand. Okay? Same drill. Agiyuke. So, start with right hand up actually. So when you drop down, cover. Right hand cover, step forward, left hand high bar. So one, step back, right hand, see? Hip forward, showman. Two, step forward, hand me, lock. Itch. Knee, same hand first. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee, use the hip. Itch. Knee. Okay, now opposite hand. So as you step back, this hand becomes the cover position. Itch. Showman. Other leg forward, hand me. Knee. Other hand. Itch. Knee. Itch. Just slowly. Knee. Use the hip to generate the technique. Itch. Knee. Itch. And knee. Okay. This one is going to be the cover hand. Step back. Itch. This time, left leg forward. Knee. Okay, now we're going to go opposite. Each count. Step back, other side. Step back, other side. This hand cover. Itch. So, hip forward, cover. Other hand, other leg, knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. 
इच नी इच नी के वन काउंट फ्लूड मोशन गो स्लोली जस्ट फील इट आउट यूज द हिप टू जेनरेट द एक्शन के स्विच हाइड्स एवरी काउंट कवर फर्स्ट इच कवर स्टेप हिप आउट नी I'm doing this on purpose to stop, but just to feel it. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Hitch. Hatch. Keep. Jump. Okay. Now, a little more, just more fluid. Slight kime meaning tighten, exhale at the final point of the technique. Hold for at least one second. Ready? Cover first. Itch. Knee. Sun. Shi. Go. Rook. Hitch. Hatch. Two, 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 three, ten more. Each, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, hitch, hutch, two, 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 three. All right, and relax. Okay. Hope you get the concepts. So the focus really, again. With today's exercise, I'm trying to generate is as you step back with your hip, the other hand and the hip prepares cover or sorry cover, so you get ready for the next technique. Same thing with soto uke outside block. So finishing this right, stepping back. And then, yeah. When you step back, notice the hand and the hip. All right, goes up in this hand. Cover. Switch. Okay, ready. I'll break it down two steps again, just so make it easy first. Slowly, baby step. So one, like back, up. Knee, two. Other side. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Use the hips. Hip forward. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. I want to share something. I know we're closing the hands. But look at this. If I just use my hip, the hand is already gonna land in this position. All I do is finish with not twisting this way, but more like think about like Moroccan. Twist forward. The hip closes the distance between here to here, so I don't have to move like this. That's disconnected the shoulder. Use the hip. All my doing is. Okay. Other side. Itch. Uh, itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Okay. One count. Same idea. Slowly first. No kimi. Focus on the hip and the positioning. Remember. Twist. To the front, not across. Itch. Cover first. Knee. Cover. Twist. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Hitch. Hutch. Good. Two. Okay, ten more. A little bit more kime at the end. So kime at the end is hold tight. 
finish, hold for at least one second. Cover first. Itch, cover. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Go. Buck. Shitch. Hunch. Cube. Juke. Okay. Ten more. Little more intensity. Not super speed yet. Not super speed, just intensity. And finish the key again. Emphasis as you're going back. Use the hip to generate the arm motion. Don't just move the hand by itself. Wait for the hip to step back and the arm follows. Ready. Sotoki. Itch. Ni. Sat. Shi. Go. Ok. Sitch. Hutch. Kip. Jukip. Yeah. And note it. Okay, so it's okay. So again, I'm really emphasizing just hip initiates, everything else follows. Okay, next one. Uchuke. Uchuke, say. Alright, same principle. This time, then, with uchiuke, so similar to like sotoke, this time, hands here. Okay? From here, step. Now, similar to sotoke, don't do sideways, you're not wiper blades. Instead, focus on, if you have the hand position here, follow straight, straight, straight. Like almost Urakin style. Urakin. Just your, as your hip turn, twist. Twist, but forward. Don't twist sideways. I know wax on, wax off is popular, but this one is not good for the elbow. It's disconnected. But this way, it's all connected. Okay? Then step back. So positioning. And then forward. Two. Okay? Slow count. Itch. Cover, knee, out. Itch, cover, knee, out. Itch, cover, knee, out. Itch, knee. Itch, showman, knee, behind me. Itch, showman, knee. Itch, knee, itch. And knee. Okay? One flow count. And not too much key maintenance, just get the motion. Ready? Itch. Knee. So again, as your leg step back, hand follow. Itch. Knee. Don't move the arm first. Use the hip first. Itch. I'm sorry, side. She. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hutch. Kip. Chip. Okay. So again, the focus from here, if I'm positioning for cover, hip forward. As I turn my hip, twist my hip side. Not, not wiper blades, okay? Center, center, okay. Next 10, a little more power, a little more intensity, and kime, focus on hold, finish. Not tense, tight like this. Relax, hold tight, hold tight, finish tight. Ready? Itch, uchi, okay. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Ok. Chich. Hach. Kip. Chukip. Yeah. Now it's up. Relax. Shake it off. Hopefully everyone's 
doing okay still. One more and then I'm gonna change up the drill a bit. Okay, so we started with our uke, the four ukes, the sort of basics, gedan, age, and the two middle levels, soto, uche. Okay, now punches, chukizuki, oizuki, opposite happens, meaning when you set up, normally we do the drill like this. Uh, Hanmi, Shomen. Hanmi, Shomen. For the blocks, it's different. Shomen, Hanmi. Shomen, Hanmi. Alright? So now with the punches, we're going to start like this. But, so my hand and hip is, uh, uh, I think maybe here, but whatever hand is in the hip, pull back. Okay? So the hand that's out to cover, just imagine you're covering like this. Twist this way, then. Bend, then explode forward. So don't go like this. Finish, okay? Then as you step back, so you're ready. Ready this, and then switch. Hip forward, okay? So do this slowly, two counts again. So number one is cover back, number two, execute technique. Ready, hip, itch, on me. Then opposite leg, hand to the hip, punch. Knee. Itch. Switch legs, knee. Just so you can see. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Okay? One count, same thing as you can cover. Twist, hip forward, showman. Hand me, showman. Really focusing on just the hip initiate action first. Ready? Hitch, switch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Look. Shitch. Hutch. And Ju. Hey. Okay. Next 10. A little more intensity. Kime at the end. So tight. Everything. Finish. Finish. So relax, relax, relax. Same thing. Twist. Finish. Twist. Finish. Ready. So this is an example. Ready. Itch. Knee. Step back, sun, step back, forward, sheep, go, rook, switch, hutch, kip, two kip, hey, ten more itch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rook, switch, hutch, kip, two kip. Yeah! And not a. And relax. Okay. Very good. Okay. The twisting. Really, it's like you're winding up. Or if you have a bow and arrow. Ready position and just release. You don't push the arrow with the bow, the tight tension of the bow. When you release it, the bow just goes, right? Similar concept with the hip. For my understanding with body connection, right? Hip initiates, so hip is the tension, tension wire. And then, release the tension wire, explode. In this case, for always release, hold it, tension wire, explode. For the uke, is the block a little bit reverse. Because, showman, so the tension is different. You gotta compress this way. And then when you release, Sorry, not elbow out this way. Hip up. Arm just goes in the center point. Okay? Not around. Follow the center course. See? Hip move, arm follow. Hip move, arm follow back. Forward, back. Forward. Okay, I know I'm over exaggerating, but that's the concept. Okay, so that was meant to be a little break. <laughs> so now, five techniques. Add them all up together. Okay? 
himself. Watch me first, so I'll give you guys a little bit of extra break as well. If you notice, I tried to do five times, sorry, ten, ten, ten reps of each technique, so we're moving up the repetition. So from here, we're gonna add them all together. So first thing, watch me. I'll cover, timing, so this is one, two, then step back, okay, okay. Then, slow toke, step back, cover, block, back, cover, block, uchuke, cover, block, cover, block, then the punches, side, forward, side, forward, okay? Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, each technique. Okay, okay. So, let's focus on each one slowly first. The goal is, I want you to, instead of emphasis the finishing of the move, I want you to focus on the covering part of the move, okay? The cover aspect. Yoi. So I'll go slowly. Just feel the hip activate. Started with Gadambara. Ready? First, cover. Itch, cover, knee, block. Other side. Itch, cover, knee, block. Agi, okay. This hand is gonna cover. Itch, hip forward, cover, knee. Block. This hand cover. Itch. Knee. Soto ke. Itch. Knee. Other side. Itch. Knee. Uchi ke. Itch. Knee. Itch. Knee. Oizuki. Itch. Cover. Knee. Itch. Knee. And now it. Okay, everyone understand? Now, same drill, five techniques, one count completed. But again, the focus I really want to emphasize is the cover. When you're stepping back for cover, hip move first, arm, arm follow in succession, okay? Not arm, step, which I tend to notice people do, but I used to do this myself. That's why I'm really Switching up my habit and behavior. Move, arm follow. Okay, so relax. Your one count. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. So get them right. Agi okay. Soto okay. Uchi okay. Oizuki. Left side. Kamaite. Itch. Switch. Ni. Agi okay. Ni sak. Other side, shit. Sotoke, go. Rook. Uchioke, shit. Hutch. Punch. Uzuki. Kip. Chukip. Yeah. Alright. Okay, everyone understand? Next one, same. More kime, more intensity, fluid, okay? I'm not gonna count this one. I'm just gonna go through it. You know it. Left side, good time. Right side, good time. Left side, agi okay. The right side. Soto okay, soto okay. Uchi okay, uchi okay. Oizuki, oizuki. Us! Ready. We're gonna do five. Continuous. Ready. One count is the whole set. Itch! Block, switch, 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 block,
last one. More intensity. As fast, well, not as fast again, but just focus on the technique. Feeling it, focusing on hip initiate technique. Hip action first before hand. Hip follow or hand follow hip. But as we're taking this break, because we're gonna do a couple more drills before the finish, the concept I'm focusing on is really when people clap or senses, they do the clap, right? Notice when the hand hits, the sound automatically, there's no in between. Before the, the, the moment of impact and the sound, just like in the makiwara, right? When I hit the makiwara, the moment of impact, boom, noise. That's the concept with a hip action. Hip initiate the movement, but there's no delay with the arm or the technique to follow, okay? So example, a lot of students when I'm beginners, when I teach them, you know, if I do this concept, hip, arm, hip, arm, no, 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 it's disconnected. Connection means hip, 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 hip. I mean, it's something you have to work on to train. This is something I've learned and uh, applied in my own training. So that's the, the thing I wanted to share. Just hip action initiates the technique, okay? We're gonna do the same drill again. I know I did it five times, so okay, I'll be gentle. We'll do it five more times. Same, back forward, back forward, back forward, back forward on your own pace, but kime, kime, kime. That means finish each technique fully before you go to the next one, okay? Pretty simple, right? Okay, you want? So again, get that right twice, right, left. Agi, okay, right, left. Soto, okay, uchi, okay, punch, punch. Ready, go on. Get right. Itch! Switch, agi, okay. Soto okay. Would you okay? Punch. Aya. Okay, again. Get down, get down. Agi, agi. Soto, soto. Uchi, uchi. Oizuki, oizuki. Ready. Ni. some of the concepts that I try to work on for myself from all the lessons I've learned from different gashikus watching people online you know the beautiful thing about this crowded home you get to learn something unique from each instructor because everyone has their own different kind of drills different ways that they understand and recognize how to perform a technique or action I mean there's a structure we all know the structure we all know the oizuki Supposed to, supposed to is a keyword, look like this, right? How do you get there, you know? Everyone can get here, but the transition, are you generating, actually generating power correctly? Or just placing the hand there, right? So the key for me is, how do I generate the power to perform the action? So I hope you're able to apply that to yourself. That's something I'm doing, you know, at home. 
uh, before moving to, you know, in dojo we can't really move at home as much, but this is something we can focus on, okay? Oh, yeah, I know, I'm breathing hard. Uh, we'll just do some cool down stretches before I wrap up. It's important to also realize our muscles need to activate. That's why I went slowly first before I went hard. I know you guys know this, but just re-emphasizing, building up your muscle and relaxing it so you can perform at your best, okay? Just hip side to side. Okay, shoulders, we're gonna do slow, controlled articular rotations. Up, around, back, up, forward, down. Other side, go across. We'll use our arms a lot, so relax the shoulders. Not together. One more. Forward across, twist, back, up, down. Okay, hip, rotate, so knee up, around, 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 around. Other way, out, forward. I know we didn't do kicks, I had an idea, I wanted to do some kicks, but I feel like just keep one track in mind for this class. Other side. Didn't want to kill <laughs> myself or you guys too much today. But I still hope that you were able to get a workout. Okay, and then rotate. Other way. Okay, other hand, other leg. Other way. Off, hands up, right hand ankle, up, left hand other ankle, up, hand behind your back, shake it off, then just a little squat first again, but just relax, 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 focusing on the hinging. This is a cool down squat. Just drop, relax up, drop, relax up. And good, okay? And two breath, three breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okie dokie. For the timing, uh, I'll just finish up with a Mokso Dojo Kun. So, you know, how we do in class. And I'll probably stay for five minutes if people have any questions about anything. I'll feel free to be the question or try to answer whatever questions you may have to the best of my ability. Okay, so we'll just line up the uh, switch. Season. So like I invited you guys in the beginning of class to mokso, focusing on 10 breaths. At the end of class, how I mokso, I usually meditate on what I learned or what I performed or what thing, whatever technique or action that I focused on for myself. You guys can do whatever you like. I just want to invite you to something that I do. Reflect on my whatever you reflect on. Or focusing on breathing or nothing at all. Mokso! Seek perfection of character. Be faithful.
endeavor. Respect others. Refrain from violent behavior. Anthony. Otogani. Thank you again, Sensei Martin, Sensei Naja, for creating this platform for all of us to be able to share our knowledge and share our love and passion for karate. And I'm very grateful and honored to be able to share what I've learned in my life, my karate life, to you all. And I hope to continue sharing and learning from every one of you. Well, Andy, thank you so much. Sensei. Sorry, I had to look in the comments now. Thank you, Sensei Martin. Us. Mr. Tomoskios, thank you. Oh man, thank you all so much. I'll, I'll go in and like everyone's uh, comments and read everyone's comments afterwards. So I really appreciate you guys participating. If anyone has any questions about anything I shared, feel free to ask. Host, thank you, Mr. Hines. Host, congratulations, your Godan. Cameron, host, Desmond, host, Godric, host, John, host, Martin, host, Michael, host, host, brother Dan, host, happy birthday to your daughter. Host, Abu Hamza, thank you, host, Saad, host. Us, Peter from Sweden, thank you. Mr. Pat, at least, thank you. David, thank you. Sink with the hips, arms, step. Us, oh yeah, everything, body connection, total body connection is a challenge that I'm working on for myself, you know? And I think that's the idea behind the JK philosophy, you know, of a uh, Iken Hisatsu, you know, one hit, one, one hit, one kill. Pretty much killing the Lord. Ippon, the Ippon technique is a finishing move, you know what I mean? So the Ippon technique means everything come together at one explosive moment, you know, coming crashing to the center. Instead of individual like movements, it's boom, explosion. So at least that's how I imagine it and what I try to, uh, uh, you know, execute. I'm still training though, but this is the mentality I try to approach my techniques. You're welcome, Michael. Anyone has any questions, or I know I'm sorry I didn't give you guys a break, but I feel like we can all take a break now. Mina, thank you for those greetings from Kari. Oh, thank you so much. Jap, thank you. Hos. Hos. Okay, if anyone doesn't have any more questions, I'm going to end the session. Again, I'm grateful for everyone. Sensei Martin, Sensei Naja, Sensei Ray inviting me here to pre present to you uh, what I'm learning and training for myself. Thank you, Bertrand, Os, and I will go end this session now. Os, if you have any messages, feel free to message the comments and I'll read and respond as soon as I can. Os, thank you everybody. Have a beautiful evening in Germany and Europe and good afternoon, Canada and North America. Peace.